Hi guys, how's it going? Just thought I'd do a quick video to show you my latest um, addition to my tank, or update to my tank really. Um, for once it's not actually fish. Um, so I decided to set up an LED moonlight for my glass catfish, which you can see are swimming around here. They're actually thinking that they're going to get fed, um, which I should probably do sometime soon actually. Um, there's three of them hanging out at the front here, but there's three more I think in the... Um, Val at the back there, I think. They usually hide under there or near the filter or behind the Java fan and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, some of you are asking about my LED light because I uploaded a video of a moonlight sort of shot that I took the other day. Um, it wasn't the greatest because you can't really see much using um, a compact camera like this. You probably need um, a DSLR with a good lens um, that can do low light, low lighting conditions. Um, which this camera doesn't really have too much of. So basically what it is, is this sort of film canister type container. It's not an actual film canister, but similar sort of container that you use to put your film in um, if you're using um, film cameras, obviously. So basically it's a little plastic container with a single LED in the bottom, or inside actually. Um, just drilled a hole through the top here and basically just put it in, connected it to a what do you call it, um, like adapter, power thingy, whatever it's called, um, and the cable runs behind my desk and it's supported by some wire, just some basic wire that we just found around the house, um, and that's sort of used to hold it up because it doesn't actually have any way of, you know, supporting it up there, unless I stuck it to this, which I wasn't really keen on doing, but, um, basically that's what it's like at the moment. So it's a single little LED. Um, it doesn't actually have, you know, the brightest effect on my tank, um, considering that I do have a lot of this frog bit stuff at the top here, which I can show you. It sort of basically just covers the whole top of my tank there um, and doesn't let too much light through, so I might have to remove some of that. Um, but also because it's a single LED, it's very directional. Um, I was thinking to actually put it up here on my shelf, like support it up here somewhere, so it'd be more sort of spread it, even lighting. Um, but other than that, I'm actually thinking to do an LED strip sort of across this, um, what do you call it, a ballast or light fixture, um, just to have more even light, um, to sort of see the little guys, because when it's directional you can't actually see that much, especially through all that, like I said, and they don't actually like to swim in the light, so the only way you can sort of light them up is if the whole tank is lit up. Um, thinking to actually make it dimmable, which would be a pretty good feature, um, simply because, you know, you don't want to light up the whole tank too brightly at night so the fish can actually sort of, you know, sleep, because <laughs> they do sleep, so, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Other than that, um, I'm probably going to turn down my photo period or lighting period from 11 hours to about 8 or 9, um, as you've noticed, I've actually trimmed my dwarf hair grass again, and that was because I did have a lot of cladophora algae um, in there and I actually didn't know what it was but I asked my boss and he confirmed that it was cl cl cladophora, sorry, um, which is really stringy stuff that sort of gets clumped up in especially hair grass and fine substrate like I have. I mean it's really annoying stuff so you're going to turn down the photo period and possibly turn down the bubble count of the CO2. Uh, if that doesn't work I don't know I might have to just remove the dwarf hair grass altogether. Um, so that's basically all that's happening. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions leave them below and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.